Welcome to the world premiere of The Assassination of Gianni Versace, American Crime Story. No. This anthology series examines the events leading up to the murder of Italian fashion designer Gianni Versace and the nationwide manhunt that captivated the country. Shortly before 9 a.m., fashion designer Gianni Versace was shot on the steps of his villa. Suspect named as Andrew Cunanan. We asked about bringing this true crime story to the screen. Well, I think that he keeps exploring the underbelly of a country, and he keeps exploring the zeitgeist. I think it's a cool second step from where they were in the first season, which was a courtroom drama. And this is a little different. It's more of a manhunt and a, and a character piece. It's much more epic in scale. I mean, it goes all over the country, all over the world even a little bit. And it's a story that most people don't know about. Signore Versace, buonasera. This is my friend Andrew. Hi. American Crime Story is really about more than just a crime. It's about a larger social issue to hang the crimes on. I was interested in OJ because it dealt with racism, sexism, misogyny. And I was really interested in Versace because it dealt with, you know, homophobia in the 90s. Themes that still resonate today. Gianni Versace was one of the few out gay celebrities. This was before Ellen. It was basically Elton John and Gianni Versace, and he was murdered for that. True crime stories, the ones we explore in the series, are ones that say something about who we are as a country. Well, I was his partner, not his pimp. By partner, you mean? What, what do I mean? It's very troubling, because Andrew Cunanan was a killer. For many people, he did not represent a public threat because basically he was killing gay men. And, and up until he killed the famous gay men, then people started to pay attention because everyone else's interests were affected. But more than that, the show answers the question, how does one young boy become a creator and how does another young boy become a destroyer? I swear, I really do have a date with Johnny Versace. We're back with the world premiere of the assassination of Gianni Versace, American Crime Story. My hope is that when people wear my clothes, they will get to know me a little bit, you know? They will get to know my character, my, my, my love for life. Speaking of Gianni, can you tell us about the research you did to bring him to life? I was very lucky, not only to have amazing access to great documentation on Gianni, but also people who were very close to him, who were open and generous enough to share their stories and their experiences with me. So that gave me a very close, direct, heartfelt insight on who Gianni might have been. Comes from here first, from here. And then you hire the photographers, and then you throw the parties, and then you ask celebrities to wear our clothes. But that comes second. I'm worried, Gianni. Our shows were the future ones. So I just got a little bit obsessed with her. I watched hours and hours of interviews with her from the 80s, 90s, from hours every day for months. I worked with my dialect coach because he's English with her Italian accent, which is very particular. That was the most important thing for me to find the voice. There's the Andrew, the real life Andrew, who unfortunately I will never have any contact with. There is the Andrew we can glean from Maureen Ward's book. And we have the Andrew that is in the pages written by Tom Rob Smith and the world created by Ryan Murphy. And, and at the end of the day, that's, that's sort of my, my guiding light. So what do you do? I'm a serial killer. What? I said I'm a banker. Why are people fascinated with true crime stories? Because I think it's the best of human nature, because I think there's always the people who are trying to help the victims, the first responders, the people who are trying to solve the crimes. And then it's the worst of human nature, the people who perpetuate these sort of heinous acts. And I think anytime you have good and evil together, it's biblical, right? True crime stories give us a mirror in which we see ourselves. And what we see in the mirror isn't maybe who we want to be, but there's a truth to who we are. Because it is a reflection of our fears, our shortcomings. I think that we're all capable of great things, beautiful things, but also horrible things. You're handsome, clever. I'm sure you're going to be someone really special one day. For FXM, I'm Tapa Smiley. Thanks for watching.